hi guys i am asif ali and you're watching cg how video and today i have created this basic this is not in fact just a thing that you can learn today how to use velocity and and ue for ue5 niagara and set your scale of particle or the color with velocity so you can have this type of uh, cool looking thing that you can use it somewhere but you will have some uh, knowledge of how to use that velocity so let's start this tutorial first of all subscribe my youtube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification so this is ue5 and i i've been not using it for a while because it's crashing so much and i'll keep saving again and again so i'll create a folder test and in test i create niagara test so i got this fountain and i will delete this sprite and take the mesh and i have just one mesh in this project this is cube and then i will use a material just as this material not floor this lambert it has this particle color so simple material so crashed and that's why i don't create ue5 tutorials anymore i don't know why it's crashing but see my effect gone although that was basic thing i'll do it again but it's frustrating sometime so i'll do it again i don't need this mesh and cube Lambert save I'll delete all these modules spawn at once and life infinite and then I'll spawn particle in grid fix this I don't want on Z and move this down so you have this and I'll increase this count maybe 100 and red and then i'll decrease the particle size 0.8 so now you can see the cubes save this and you can change the color because you have particle color in your material so like if i take the color and make it lerp and first color is red second is green and you can just add your velocity and everything here uh, like just power i'm just doing it uh, quickly so you can take the length then you can take the velocity and you can have uh, but you need to have some velocity here first so i'll add a curl noise first let's uh, 100 5 so part and i'll just turn off the color for now so you have velocity but these particles are just keep moving i want these particles to move back to the original position initial position so i'll take the spring and particle position should be initial and tightness i will use very low and no separation so these particles will move with curl noise but they will keep trying to uh, reach the initial position so it will just keep moving it now i turn on my color and because it's you can see i can have that thing and you can use the clamp so copy this and clamp then you can paste this so now you can edit things you can see i can have this type of thing but here i will not use this process i will just right click on it scratch dynamic and remove this i'll just make some space so i'll take the velocity and 
I break this in my case I'll just use the X velocity and multiply this uh, uh, first I will use absolute because velocity can be negative also I want just positive velocity multiply it float connect it here so this is your multiplier you can name it anything then I will use power and this is uh, you can control it uh, I'm just con naming it power and then last I'll use clamp so the all value will be 0 to 1 float float 0 to 1 connect it to output hit apply and save also thank god I saved I got this oh my color node my velocity node everything gone although I saved so this is again my last tutorial in UE5 I'm not gonna do this again and again because this effect is simple I can do it again and again but if I'm making something bigger that will really take some time so spring I'm doing it all again very quickly so you can just take save 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 take the color love red green dynamic input save velocity break absolute multiplier power clamp so the last value will be under 0 to 1 hit apply and now I will this is my multiplier I'm just renaming it M now this is my power I will you rename it P and then this is clamp hit apply save compile and save so now here you got this multiplier maybe very less value and then power so now you can see oh I used now I got this cool looking effect and now I can use the same dynamic input for the scale I'll move this here I will take the scale again float lerp and I'll just copy this dynamic input and paste it here and I'll increase the maximum value of particle see and now I can tweak these value also for a scale 0 0.1, 0 0.05 so you can just stop this and edit it like this you will have this type of effect and if you want to make it on a sphere like uh, like this what you have to do you have to copy this duplicate remove the spawn from grid I'll use particle burst maybe 5000 and I'll take the sphere maybe 200 instead of random distribution I'll use uniform and you will get this so cool 
and you can do lots of things with this like uh, in this one uh, I can also use the orientation mesh vector and connect it to velocity so these will also face to the velocity see it's also rotating if I move this here also isolate this you can see these are also rotating because of velocity and if you can if you want to see it all even properly crashed so okay in this one I'm not making sphere again so I use that orientation and connect it to velocity now particles are also rotating but if you will stretch them in one direction you will see the difference so 0 0.8, 0 0.85 see difference and I can make it 0 0.6, 0 0.6 so you can also do this and you can check which axis is perfect for you for your effect okay so this is it now you, you know how to use velocity to change other parameters of your particles you can change the rotation color size anything even if you want to change the mesh you can do that instead of sphere instead of cube you can use a sphere so green particle will be sphere red particle will be cube you need to use two mesh here then use the index because this is zero then you will take the second mesh that will be one and that's it okay so Bye, take care.